was a pickle. Oh, yes, we have an out. Woo, good job, Rabbit. Fast track video, and this is Ed. I've already uh, teared this, and now I'm going to go into this to find out. I, I usually kind of like knock this down a little bit so that I'm getting exactly 18 on the Akai Pearl. I'm going to pour this in here. The one thing I had talked to my wife is my wife, she helps me a lot with a lot of things here. She kind of tells me that, you know, like in terms of tea with a tea bag, you know, when you have boiled water, you put the bag of tea in that water for three minutes and you have a nice tea. And that's kind of like what this system is set up here too. I have this set up for double dosing and I have this set up here as well. We're gonna, right now, first uh, see if we get 18 in, 18 out of the grind. So there's zero retention. I have, uh, regarding this uh, Shiato, I've been getting zero retention more than I have anything off. And if I get something off, it's only because I haven't you know, really placed it heavily in here. And I, I do need to get a shaker because I need to bring this down a little bit when I'm doing my grind. So see, I still have some coming out of the grinder. And I really don't want anything out of the grinder. I've already reset this and really what I need to do is I need to experiment today and see that I'm getting, let's try this right now, see if I get 18, 18. Wow, 18, 18. Uh, this is the thing that I'm getting with the C, the E37S is whatever I put in, if I'm, you know, careful to see that I get all the grinds out or as much as possible, I can put it back in here. I can put it back on the dial and it's exactly the same weight. So this is good news. So I can turn this off, put it off to the side for the moment. And my main focus in this video here, as I was telling with my wife, it is when you have three minutes, that's the perfect tea. But if you only put the bag in and boiling water for one minute and you pull it out, the water, you know, you're just drinking more of the water than the tea. If you keep the bag in the, the tea for boiling, you know, water for 10 minutes, then you got, an, you know, something really, really bitter. And in the case with me, with my, uh, woo, see, I, I kind of dropped some out. And this is where I'm noticing some possible clumping, which I think what I'm going to do is make an investment on a shaker so that I can eliminate clumping completely. Um, I'm definitely going to make a purchase on that. I use this little thing here right now to do the WDT. Um, and as you can see in the process, I'm not really doing a good job at this. So there is some definite, definite improvements to my workflow here in order to make this thing work better. So all right, so so much is being said here. Um, I have a lot more cleaning to do too now. <laughs> so anyways, we take this down here. I use the jack leveler, spin this around a few times. I do not stop there uh, because I have been noticing channeling. So I take this in here and I press it down. Not a lot, just enough to Flatten it, level it, as you can see all the way around. Uh, it's pretty accurate. There may be some wetness over here. Some people have been telling me in terms of when you do too many grinds in one moment, like every five seconds, the heat tends to play a part in the extraction. I have a feeling that's possibly true, but it's also true when your portafilter is nice and warm too, when you're doing that quite often. Uh, the portafilter plays a part of, you know, doing some sort of clumping too, from what I'm noticing. So I'm just going to drop this in here like so, zero it out, and then run this. And make sure that I get it hitting right. 
let's now I'm getting a lot of channeling here. That's not good. And it is speeding up a lot. I'm already beyond what I can recall. So I changed my dial and I got a lot of channeling on this. So I'm going to put on hold and we're going to try it again here. All right, so I'm coming back in the picture here. Uh, I got this at zero here. I just turned it on. I'm going to tear it. I'm going to go and get some more beans. This is a great experiment. Um, just want to let everybody know I had this at two and three quarters, then went to three and three quarters. I hadn't really moved this. It's still better. Um, I'm going to move this a little bit more again. And hopefully, maybe that will be the answer. I have this at 20 ounces here. I need to get 18 because I'm looking for consistency. That's the key thing with everything here is consistency. Uh, if I don't get it consistent, it just doesn't work. 16, 6, 16, 7. I have 20. Beans out. 18-2. 18. All right, so we got 18 again. I had, let's just go over here and look at the Seattle. I had it at two and three quarters, then I had it at uh, probably four, now I have it four and a half. We're going to go and see if what we can do here. Four and a half. We're just moving more and more to an accurate. I'm trying to get it out of the bitterness, but not trying to get to the point where I'm just drinking water. Because that's not what I'm looking for either. And I will clean up whatever residue I have in here so that we can get an accurate tear. Let's try this out now. Filling up. I don't have a shaker. Uh, I'm gonna get something to fix this problem of what I'm doing here. And then to also fix pumping. So at 18, initially, it looks like I got everything out of this thing as much as I can. Let's go in here. And 18.1, I mean, this thing's pretty much, sometimes I may, it doesn't give me a one all the time accurate. Well, 18.1, so I might've had some grinds from the previous still in there, so. Anyways, we got that. Uh, all right, I want to do uh, turn that off. Go back to the porta filter. Before I even do a lot with this, I'm going to try something different. I didn't do this the last round here. I'll just. I kind of feel, you know, even from doing this in here, I kind of feel like something's moist, which kind of gives me a feeling that maybe there's just a lot of heat going on with, um, with the shadow and the grinds. So we have that. You can see, right? yeah. so I have a feeling there is a lot of clumping involved here. Um, I'm gonna spin this around. I did change, 
Now, you know, some people may say, you know, you need to get rid of all the grinds in the grinder, but I, ha I, I have the grinder set up for double dose tamping grinding. And you can see it looks like things are getting a little moist in terms of temperature. Uh, we'll push this out for a second. Do a quick infuse here. It seems to be working okay. I grab this in here. Clean table here. Put this back in. I may even end up buying a, a Luna eventually because I don't think this is going to work. in here so yeah I can tell that it's really really it's going too fast it's going way too fast so I'm noticing it's probably better for me to go back and here's where the magic is here you know it might have been fine where I was with three you know, as opposed to, you know, because I did go to three and a half, and then now I'm over here um, at four and a half, because I, I went from three and a half, four and a half, and it seems as though there's more channeling involved. Um, I, you know, maybe I need to really do tamp it down even harder than what I have, but at the same time, that may not be the answer. Let me taste this thing to see what it's up. It's still, it's bitter. Not as strong though. But that may be because I'm drinking more of the water than I am drinking the, you know, the uh, coffee. And I'm not getting, you know, from the rule of thumb. The rule of thumb is two to one ratio at 25 to 30 seconds on the extraction. And that's not what I'm getting right now. So my extraction time is way off to this setting right now. So I need to go back and we're going to try that. We're going to experiment here. Okay, back in the saddle here, we are going to move this grind setting back from four and a half. We're going to get it back to something like maybe two and three quarters. I'm not so much concerned with the way this timing is on this thing because I gotta set it up for self-timing eventually. But I wanna end up getting at least my times on my extractions. You know, 25 to 30 seconds um, on a uh, equal grind 18 grams, uh, which would give me 36 grams of Good. Now, I like the rattle wires a lot, but you know I'm not measuring by the uh, the cup like I have originally. I am mainly measuring by um, I'm measuring by the time or by the weight of the liquid coming out. So there's 21 there. Take a couple of these out. Take a little bit out. Eighteen seven. We're at eighteen. And now, just to make sure, eighteen. All right. So we're at eighteen on that. So. Um, Make sure that I'm cleaning up everything underneath here. I think I already ran it. 
So we're going to dump this in here again. We have exactly 18 going in. Let's see how much we got going in there. It looks like I had some extra from the last run. And that's the only thing in terms of these grinders is it may not give me 100% accuracy, but it's at least close to a 10. And, you know, I could run a clean on that afterwards. But let's see if I'm getting 18 into this right now. 17.2, so there's still plenty in here still. I could run these kind of tests with the, uh, the Kai to see that. I'm getting exactly what needs to be coming out. I still see stuff coming in. It lo looks like something might have been hanging. Seventeen eight, seventeen seven. At exactly 18. Uh, see, I'm trying to hit this thing to get some out, and stuff is coming out. All right. So. All right. Well, we'll go with 17.7 for right now. That's the first time I've seen it off from the other three, but that's not really that much. You know, you're looking at three tenths. Let's see, I'm all concerned about all that clumping there. And even with that, I'm just not clearing it out. So I'm going to do this here. It really looks clumpity clumpity clump. And this is where having a, you know, the, uh, the shaker will work better with me in terms of this. I'm gonna mess all over the place here, but I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. And the thing is, is also I'm concerned about the warmth of the portafilter, and we're getting it all over the place here. So let's just even it out on the leveler through it. And it's fairly in there, but then when I tamp it, it'll be pretty much packed. Nothing in there. And looking at this here, it looks fairly packed. So, and there you have it. Um, a little infusion. Put this in here like so. Turn this back on. Actually, I'm going to clean out some stuff here. I'm going to have to use a different uh, rattleware now. So we'll get to this. It's dripping slower, which is a good sign. That's exactly what I'm looking for here. It's speeding up a little bit. Not a lot. I went a little bit more than I needed to on that. 
actually got a little less. This is extracted by about five grams. So I, I got to obtain the taste, but that tastes pretty good considering it's got a little more crema. Um, it's not too bad. I mean, I think it, I've got it better dialed in right now on a taste rather than not. It doesn't taste bitter, so I'm going to keep it at that for right now.